we explore how dogs can help you find love. This is going to be a fascinating interview. <laughs> we talk building and rebuilding credit with Nate. Do you know, most people love dogs and puppies. We even have my dog wobble in the studios most weeks. But did you know that dogs may be the key to finding true love? Here to explain is Chris Rotonda with YouMustLoveDogsDating.com. Chris, good to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for having me. When I read about you, I thought this is a truly remarkable interview and concept you've mm -hmm. come up with. Let's get right to it. Do if you've got a dog, you're saying you can find true mm -hmm. love through it, and you suggest you could do it as simply as going to a dog park. Does it really work? I think so. I, um, I met many people, whether it was uh, my, not my uh, current girlfriend, but friends through the dog park. I mean, if you eliminate some of the outside stuff and bring in the core values that people all share, dog lovers have that core value. And, and it's like-minded people. Mm -hmm. If you yep. love your dog and you're at a dog park, you're going to probably meet people who also love dogs. Yep. You, you we're just trying to bring that, that niche together in that one same place. So how can bringing dogs into public places help you find love then? It's a great icebreaker for one. You know, oh, you have such a cute dog. What kind of dog is that? You know, it's always great to have an icebreaker in a situation like that because when you're single, you know, me, I'm a shy person. It's hard to just come to somebody and say, hey, how are you? I'm Chris. What happens if you're like me, that my dog is really, really cute, and I'm not? <laughs> um, you know, the I, correct <laughs> response to that is, oh, but you are, Scott. But there you're we go. a very you good looking, no, no, you, you, you missed it, Chris. You missed, <laughs> you missed the compliment there. I'm teasing you. What happens, though, if you are, and somebody takes an interest in your dog, and you like them, but you're too shy to ask them out on a date? It's hard to say to somebody, do you want to go get a coffee? It's really hard because of the rejection. You've got an well, idea. Yeah, if you, you know, I'm not saying you use your dog, but there's so many great play date ideas. I mean, going to a dog beach, dog park, and nowadays there's so many dog friendly restaurants. So you're not saying use the dog, but you are. In a way, yeah. but you, it, all, it brings it all in the same circle. I love it, by the way. I just think this is a genius idea because it is so hard to meet people. And you, if you've got a dog, I never thought of doing this. Mm -hmm. This is really a clever idea. Um, what does being a passionate dog owner tell others about who you are, do you think? Uh, especially me. I get that. Um, I have four dogs, and three of them are little. Wow. Uh, three of them are little, but I'm also, my other side of me is I'm a competitive bodybuilder. So people are like, you get this big guy with this we little Yorkie. Dogs. What is it saying about you? But no, I think for more, it's a big hearted person I am. I'm a generous person. Um, I have that parental, um, it shows people of how I'd be as a parent. I'm not a parent of children, but I do have dogs, and it, it shows. They are like children. They are. I mean, Wobble has been with me nine years, and he's a member of my family. That's right. You know, I can't go on vacation without considering his mm -hmm. needs and everything. Um, uh, uh, you've got a website. Tell me about this website because it's really cool. Um, it's a niche-based dating site, like like just like Farmers Only or Um It's it's almost like it's fun in a way because we have the pro uh, profile creation like any other site. You create a profile for yourself, but you create a profile for your dog too. Isn't this, isn't this brilliant? I just think this is lovely. If you're single, divorced, whatever out there, this and you love animals, this might be a, a great thing. Now, where's your dog? It's in Florida right now. Now, we're in Baton Rouge. <laughs> Do you don't think it would have been a good idea to have brought him with you, or is he so gorgeous that uh, you it have would, to it be... Would have been, it would have been tough, especially without the girlfriend around. It's a, it's a magnet. It's a, mag yeah, a chick it's, magnet. It's a chick magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I get... Okay, um, is there any fees for your site? We do, we have the first 30 days free, so I want everyone to try it out, to right. see how it is, to basically drive the car before you buy it. And, um, and then there's then, a small, the small monthly. monthly fee, yeah. So this is youmustlovedogsdating.com. Folks, I thought this was the most unusual but interesting, and it seems to make sense to me. So why don't you go to youmustlovedogsdating.com, give it a try for 30 days. Um, Chris, I have to thank you, because I love it when people come up with cool, innovative, mm -hmm. but nice ideas, and mm -hmm. this is a nice idea. Yep. I'm going to try, I'm going to take Wobble out. <laughs> I'll let you know. Let me know I'll show you if I don't get married within no a problem. month. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Chris, God bless you. Thank you, you very much for having me. How about that for an interesting interview? Now, when we come back, we're going to...